Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plus. So this is this video is going to be very special as I am going to show you how to make the gear relation between a different gear and how to form a gear train in Fusion 360. So basically Fusion don't have any option for direct linking of two gear unlike uh, other software like SolidWorks and Katia. So what we have to do, what you have to do is here you have to manually link each and every gears so that they can form a beautiful gear train just like I did in here. So let's get started without wasting any time. So first of all what we have to do is we have to make a uh, revolute joint of each gear with respect to the grounded component. So the first step that that needs to be done is to make all the non-moving part grounded. We will start with the pink assembly as the uh, this blue gear is mounted on the pink one. So for that just open the uh, this component just click on it so here it is the second one right click on it and make it grounded. Now the next one is this uh, orange one so for that just move on to the top line here it is uh, click on and make this also grounded. Similarly repeat this step for this one and this one. So what we have done is we have grounded every non-moving part except the gear. So now our if we try to move uh, the grounded component will not move and you can just move the gear accordingly but you cannot move the grounded part. So revert back the position so that gear can get at their original position. So to make a gear train first you need to what you need to what you have to do is just as put this assemble the gear in their respective position the CD the center distance of the gear is important so for that suppose that the difference between the distance between the blue and yellow gear is 19 mm so what we have to do is what you have to do is just maintain uh, just drill a two hole at 90 a CD and just place the gear on top of it by just uh, uh, placing the joint or you can simply uh, uh, choose the align command here it is it is also it works as a joint but it's, it is not a joint you just move the component with respect to your commands so let's get started so what we have to do is we will first give revolute joint to every gear then we will link them up to form a gear train let's start with the blue one for now just hide the unnecessary one let's focus on the blue one so for blue to move with respect to the pink bar we have to go to assembly or click on joint or just press J for joint now it is asking for component one so this is the component and we want the lower part of it to be assembled with the upper part of this bar like this now the motion type will be revolute that rotary direction will be x and if you just animate you can see it moving press ok now if i just rotate it you can see that it can rotate now let me just bring back the bigger one so before moving forward if you guys are noticing that this is intersecting with the blue one uh, uh, it is not a problem now we can fix this issue later while linking the uh, to both the revolute joint so let's get to the another step let's capture this position for now now we have to do the same process with the uh, pink one press j for joint move actually my system is little bit slow so just zoom in take this point and the upper portion of the pink one now this will also act as a, a revolution joint and press ok now if I just try to move this you can see it's moving like the previous one now what we have to do is we have to uh, rotate the, any one of the gear so that it can be at their best position without having any intersection 
just place it slightly carefully so that it don't intersect with the other one now I, I don't see any intersection here so I think it's perfect now what we have to do is we have to link these two joints so that these two gear can form a gear train but before that one thing that is to be noted is the gear ratio these both the gear these two gear have total number of 38 teeth and the smaller one all three of them all three of them smaller one are having 90 number of teeth just half of them just uh, uh, so the, the pink one is basically twice the size of the yellow one so the gear ratio is as usual number of teeth divided by number of teeth 32 38 divided by 19 that is 2 so when it comes to yellow and the pink one the gear ratio is 1 is to 2 and when it comes to blue and the pink one gear the gear ratio is same as 1 is to 1 as both cord gear got the gear uh, 38 number of teeth so the speed at which the blue will move the same speed will be transferred to the pink one and double the speed will transfer to the yellow one so what we have to do is just hide it out what we have to do is just go to assemble click on motion link uh, you can just capture the position because we have just uh, made our gear a new position it will ask you to the joints you want to be linked first click on revolute one revolute one and second so basically it is asking here that uh, what angle of revolute one will be rotated so with respect to the uh, revolute two so if you are if you can see that uh, here's a 360 degree so that means when uh, gear blue rotates 360 degree the mm -hmm. gear pink will also rotate 360 degree but as you can see the direction is not uh, uh, perfect here they are rotating in the same direction and the, but gear needs to be rotate on opposite direction so just click on reverse and now you can see that they are moving with respect to each other and press ok there you can see it's a motion link now we have linked the gear if I try to move one the other will rotate with respect to that see that there is no intersection and they are moving beautifully with respect to each other you can just capture the position now we have to repeat the same step with all the other three gears so let's start with the yellow one so we have to make a, again we have to make a, a rotary motion between this and the grounded part so for that just click on the this and this and make it at revolute and just press ok now again you have to move this gear or this gear so that they cannot they get through sides on the best position without having any intersection uh, yes this is perfect so what we have to do is again repeat the same step as earlier uh, link the join 4 with uh, what the join name of this join I guess is join 2 yeah we have to link the join 2 with the join 4 so what to do that go to assembly click on motion link uh, capture the position because we have just to draw the new position of the yellow gear now click on revolute 2 and revolute 4 now one now what I told you about remember what I told you about the gear ratio the gear ratio in case of the blue and pink one was same so we have to make the we had made the angle in both the case 360 degree but here the case is just opposite the gear yellow is just half as the size of the gear pink so it's basically now physically its speed will be double as the speed of the pink so if the three uh, if the revolute 2 gear uh, revolute 2 gear the, the pink one rotate 360 degree then doubling that the yellow one will rotate by 720 degrees so just make it 720 degrees and you can just reverse the phenomena uh, to equalize their motion and just press ok now we have created another link between the uh, yellow and the pink one now if I just try to rotate the blue one you can see it is rotating the pink one and 
similarly the pink one is rotating the yellow gear now as you guys see this step we have to repeat these two steps again and again for two this uh, gear so that they can form a beautiful gear train now you can see I have made the all the joints repeating the same step as I did for the yellow and all the other gears for the blue one and the green one so if I just try to move any one of them the others will move according to their respect so uh, this is how it is done so let me just hide the joint and you can just move it uh, accordingly or it any of them right, right just right click on them and animate model they will move accordingly so this is how the gear train works in fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos don't forget to share subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day